Breedies, I'm here to help you troubleshoot a Samsung Galaxy Tab that no longer has sound. It has no audio, and you can't figure out why. Well, of course, the obvious thing is to go to the volume up and down button, and of course, it's usually the one on the top. If it's on the uh, on the side, if it's on here, it'll be the one on the far right. The two buttons beside each other. So I'm just going to click there, and you can see there that will make it go up by hitting that button. Simple to do. If you're in an emergency and you need sound, you don't want to troubleshoot, just get your headphones in your closet or whatever. And on the newer ones, it's located right here on the corner. And then play something like on YouTube or something and see if you hear sound. Uh, technically, you could use it like this the rest of the tablet's life if you had to, so you can get sound. All right, now, after you did that, I want you to do a hard reset. It could be an app that's interfering with the audio. In order to do a hard reset, the only thing you have to do while it's on is to hold the power button and the volume down button at the same time. You don't let go. Hold it for about 20 or 30 seconds until it restarts. And then see if that will fix your issue. A lot of times it will. All right, next thing what I want you to do, I want you to go to settings. All right, under settings, what I want you to do is go to sound and vibration let's see here where's the sound uh, there we go sound up here click that and right now you might have it on mute make sure that that's on okay go to the volume make sure the volume is loud enough ringtone you might need a raise so my media i got it here all right back out of that all right next thing what I want you to do is do a software update in order to that do that you go down in here go to software update and then click download and install and then restart it and then see if that will fix the issue a lot of times that will all right next thing what I want you to do is go to um, let's see here apps so go to apps and let's see here I want you to go to settings go right here so go to settings and then from settings I want you to go to storage and then from here what I want you to do is clear cache down here on the very bottom right under settings and then see if that will fix the issue now next thing I want you to do in settings I want you to go to general management and under general management what I want you to do is click reset and I want you to click reset reset all whoops reset all settings is what I want to do reset all settings follow those steps restart and then see if that will fix your issue a lot of times that will fix your issue one thing you could do with the headphones, so especially on the older ones, is to get the, sometimes the jack, if like if you've been using the headphones, sometimes this will shorten out the, the actual audio. So what I want you to do is stick it in the headphones, twist, put it back in like four or five times, and play a video while you're doing it. Let's say, play a, a YouTube video with the volume on, and make sure that there's not a short in the jack. Sometimes it will be. And of course, make sure the volume's on on any app that you're using. If you got YouTube, make sure that the volume's on. Now, last but not least, uh, the really last thing that you could do is actually to do a factory data reset on that same screen to do a reset. That will wipe out all your pictures and your videos and your any information you have on the apps. It'll make it fresh like it's out of the box. But if you've tried all else, that would be your only solution to do a factory reset. If you do a factory reset and it's still not working, then there's a hardware issue. Um, but I'm confident that you could use the headphones for the, the duration of the rest of the tablet. Don't just throw it away. It still has use, right? All right, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe.